Well, every weekend, the first question is, hey, where are we doing brunch, right? It's the trendiest meal, and for a good reason. It's delicious, and Candace Conley is the girl can cook. She's here with a brunch recipe that's sure to please your hungry guests. Hi, Candace. Hey, Thanks for how being are you? I'm, I'm really, really excited about this because I love French toast, and this is the largest French toast I've ever seen. It will serve an army. It's or the size perhaps of my head. a basketball yeah. team. Or a basketball team. <laughs> oh, did you hear about the basketball March Madness uh, bracket? Yeah, I just heard about oh, that. Oh, good, yeah. Okay, I'll let you take a look in a second. Um, so, what exactly are we going to make? Okay, this is not your mom's French toast. Right, that was the little French toast. That was a little, you know, white bread mm -hmm. French toast that you had to hurry and, mm -hmm. and get it in and out of the egg because it would, you know, That's right. soak it up then and then you'd have to syrup on it. Yeah. And call it a no, day. no, no. This is big uh, Tuscan bread. Okay. You want firm bread, so you can use French, uh, French bread, Italian bread, whatever. Mm -hmm. But this is a nice uh, firm loaf, and so we're going to stuff it. We've made a hole. Oh, fun! Yeah, just with just with a knife, and in this instance, we're going to use brie and ham. Yum and You yum. can stuff it with anything. Okay. You really can. You can do something sweet, but typically it's nice to do something sweet and savory. In this okay. case, we're doing sweet and creamy. Mm -hmm. And so you just kind of wrap the ham around the brie and then put it in our little pocket. Wow. Yeah. So we already have one done. Okay. We're going to put it in the... Uh, you want to count like one, two, three, four, five. Don't you just leave it in there for like five minutes? That's what I usually do. <laughs> well, you could, but then... Uh, <laughs> then it's got to fall. It just yeah. smears then on you'd, the plate. I think you'd have bread pudding at that yeah, point. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And mm -hmm. then we have a little bit of butter and we have a little bit of oil. It's olive oil or canola? Actually, this is um, grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil? Grapeseed oil. I don't know oil. about grapeseed okay, oil. Okay, grapeseed oil is a flavorless oil. It actually has more antioxidants than olive oil. Really? Yeah, and it has a very high smoking point. So, you, need to be using you can that turn it up really, really high, and uh, it won't burn. Now, the, the trick to this is that you want a little bit of butter in your pan, mm -hmm. uh, because you want to get the taste, and you want to get the look of butter, which is a nice brown color. Sure. That's why we get the brown. Oh, if, you okay. just, if you just used oil, it would be okay, but it wouldn't be as, as beautiful. And it has to be these thick pieces to be able to stuff. Well, it's... I mean, you can you can stuff you can stuff a smaller piece. We're kind of hurrying along here, yeah, so that's we okay. don't have you know all okay. we don't have all morning. For we do that brunch. little cooking segment thing where we do oh the magic of TV and yeah. then we're gonna show the fun. Well, because product. there we go. Right. Um, and so you're gonna put it on one side for a couple three minutes. Then you're gonna flip it over mm -hmm. to the other side, couple three minutes. Then it's gonna go on a sheet pan. Well, why would you do that? Well, because it's not finished cooking. Oh. So you're going to pop it in the oven at 350, and it puffs up huh. you do it for like 10, 15 minutes. 10, 15 minutes. Do you have to flip it at all? Or you just nope, make it? Nope. You just leave it on there. Okay. Like and how hot? What did you 350, say? 350. Okay. 350. So just kind of a moderate oven. Okay. You don't want it too hot. Mm -hmm. And um, then it's beautiful like the French toast we have over here. Excellent. Do I get to try it? Of course, of course. Thank you. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Oh, okay. okay. Would you Would you like some syrup or some berries? Oh, with it? yeah. Let's do that. Okay. This is just maple syrup. And okay. You do it. You're the. Uh, okay. You're the girl that can we'll, cook. We'll do the drizzle here. Yeah. How's I'm a that? guy that learns how to cook on my TV show. How's that? I love it. I and love then with a, you love squirt bottles too. You know. I love squirt bottles too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit of this too. Yeah. Um, can I? Sure. May go I? for it. Mmm. So Absolutely. that brie inside must just get really yummy and creamy. It does, and the, the nice thing about it is if you will put it inside the ham, then you don't end up with as much brie all over. Right, look at that. Can you see it? Can you see it? Look at this. You <laughs> yummy. What? Mmm. Mmm. Almost as good as a pie in the face. <laughs> oh, that is delicious. So you get a little crispy on the outside, a little bread pudding mm. on the inside. And you get the salty from the ham and the sweet from the French toast. Thank you so much, Candace. My pleasure. It's great having you here. This is such a great idea. And we're going to cook this. Um, <laughs> if you'd like to learn from Candace Conley, the girl can cook directly. She teaches cooking classes at Urban Kitchen on Cherry Street. And to try this dish for yourself, and you're going to want to because it's really good, go to greatdaygreencountry.com and just look right under recipes.